In the dimly lit room, fingers danced across the keyboard as the hacker known as Phantom penetrated the most secure government system. With every encrypted line of code, Phantom thought they were invincible, untouchable. But as lines of code blurred into a digital labyrinth, a sudden realization struck them, a subtle but unmistakable trace of intrusion detection. Panic set in, but it was too late. In an instant, sirens blared, flashing red lights filled the room, and the door burst open, revealing a team of agents. The enigmatic phantom had been caught in their own web of deception, a stark reminder that in the world of hacking, no one was truly invisible. You need to learn, learn, learn hacking. Did you know that when you launch a basic MMOP TCP scan to get more information about a given website, a particular website, the server from the other end is also gaining more information about you, like your public IP address. I am Sine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your proxy chain and tar so that you can be anonymous, so that you can hide your public IP address. Remember the goal is to be anonymous. It's time to hack the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to this channel, do please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the post notification. Give us a like and don't forget to leave your comment down below so that we can know where should we major next. And uh, you can also use the timestamps to jump the places, specific places that you want to watch. Enjoy the lesson. Okay, let's go ahead and open our terminal. First of all, we want to set our proxy chain. Let's find the location of our proxy chain using uh, this command locate proxy chains so if you click enter we'll see the direction where our file is we want to open that file and edit it these are uh, it's at uh, etc proxy chain dot config we want to open that file so that we can edit our proxy chain so open that file using our best file editor nano so it'll be sudo nano open the file location and there it is you have the file location this is uh, the proxy chain file so we want to edit we can see we have the dynamic chain here we have the strict chain here and also we have the robin chain and lastly the random chain now what's the difference between these four different modes of uh, proxy chain the first one is dynamic chain if you are using more than one proxy server dynamic chain will shift from one proxy to another until it reaches its destination and the advantage of using dynamic chain is that if one proxy fail it will be skipped and uh, the process continues until its destination unlike the dynamic chain strict chain if the proxy is out of service the connection ends there it won't skip to the next proxy do not use strict chain the random chain just chooses randomly the proxy servers to use until it reaches its destination you have understood something now let's get back into our configuration file i'm going to uncomment dynamic chain and uh, i'll comment the strict chain i'll comment the strict chain after commenting the strict strict chain that means we'll be using our dynamic chain so after that i'll scroll down to the bottom of the file you can see here we have the how to create a proxy list format this is a format that uh, if you want to create a list of proxy you can use that but because we are using tar we are go we are not going to list any list of proxies okay we are not going to list any list of proxies what we are going to do yeah um, we are going down here proxy list uh, you can see our default set is to tar 
set to turn. So I'm going to add here another sac, sac 5, sac 5, with the same address, which is 127.0.0.0.1 space 9050. The reason why I've added this, I'll tell you in our next video. The reason why I've added this, I'll tell you in our next video. The reason why I've added it below our proxy list. Okay, we need to cross check if you have done everything right. We uncommented dynamic chain at first, which was, it was our first mod. Then uh, below it, we commented strict chain. So this means that we are going to use dynamic chain, not strict chain. So you save the file, accept yes, and click enter. Okay, our next step, we are going to install tar browser into our system so using the command sudo apt install tar we are going to install tar in our machine okay coffee break it's done let's clear our screen clear our screen so what i'm going to do is to start our tar using the command service tar start with this command, we are going to start our tar. We click enter. At ask for our password, you enter your new password. So our tar is started to clarify that it started, we check it by typing service tar status, checking the status of our tar. Click enter status, then click enter. You can see it's active. Active. You can see it's active, tar is active. Since Friday, what time travel show their time? So, I'm going to clear my screen once again. Let's open uh, Firefox using proxy chain to see if our proxy chains are working. So, I'm going to type the command proxy chain Firefox. It will open our Firefox immediately. So, I'm going to check my DNS. Search for dnsleak.com and click enter. Our Tor connection is working because I can verify that I'm not at this location. At this time, I'm not at this place. Now you can scan that website by adding proxy chains before the nmap command to redirect your traffic to TAR. <laughs>